going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's Diana. If it's your first time here and I have brought you somewhere special today. If you've never been to my channel before, we discuss everything gluten-free, vegan, plant-based, and my weight loss journey. 33 miles north of Philadelphia in the suburbs of Bucks County, population about 24,000, brings you to Warrington and this Amazon Fresh. It's the first location in the Northeast and I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. Maybe for grand opening, they don't have it. Good, are you? Oh, those are the carts. Would you like to try one of our dash carts yes. today? Yes, sure yes, please. Do. do you have the Amazon app on your phone? Yep. And do you have a credit card attached to your account? Yeah, she has. Phone over. <laughs> yep. All right. And so the bags that you can use for these carts are already placed in the cart there for your convenience. So I'll hold okay. these then. <laughs> So as you're walking through the store, you can shop just like normal. Mm. Um, just make sure that you're not covering the barcodes as you're placing items in. There are six cameras on the cart, and so it doesn't really matter which way you put it into the cart as long as they're not covered. And it'll automatically scan the code, and it'll once you put it in there, it'll weigh the item also, and it will zero out after each time. So that's the nice thing. Okay. Um, cool. Wonderful. If the lights turn orange on here, uh, that means that the barcode was not read properly, so you'll have to pull the item that you placed in back out and try again. Okay. And by problems, there's people all over the place. Yes, there are. And so if you're using, you can still purchase produce into the, in this cart. You'll just have to look at the stickers or at the screens that are displayed on each item. And there will be a four to five digit code that you can input there. If I have to, if I'm having yes, trouble. if you have to. Okay. And then once you've finished with your shopping, you'll go over to the Amazon Dash Cart lane and the credit card that's attached to your account will automatically be charged. So all you have to do is walk through there, take your two bags out, and walk out of the store. Cool. Love Perfect. It. All right. All right cool. Sounds great. Thank Enjoy you. your experience. Thanks. Okay. You're not eating corn at all, right? Nope. So these signs are actually digital, which is really cool. Four zero three six. So you just come here. Four zero three six. Enter, and then you just put it in the bag, and it knows to weigh it. That's it. Accept. Love it. Done. And then it, it gives you a subtotal, which is awesome. So it also tells you deals that are going on right now in the produce section. I will say the only thing I've noticed so far about this cart is it's kind of heavy to push. It's very bulky. It doesn't turn very easily like a regular shopping cart. And also there's not really a place to put your stuff. There is a place for like a cup holder, but there's not really a place if you're a girl and you have a, a fanny pack or, or a bag or something like that. Um, so, and you can't bring your own bags. You have to use the ones they give you because this is a scale. So anything else you put in here is going to affect the weight of the the machine, but it's still a really cool concept though. All right, we're gonna grab some spinach. So do you want arugula? I'm with mom today, guys. Yeah, let's baby spinach for sure. The, yeah, the organic one's fine. Okay. So the cool part about this is because it has a camera, I don't have to scan it here. I can just literally put it in here and it should know what I have. Oh, we didn't catch it. All right, we'll scan it then. No, it says do it again. Try it again. All right, it's all right. I scanned. Scan it. I thought I did. There we go. Calculating. Calculating. There we go. So I finally got it. I guess you got to be a little slower. Maybe I was too quick. There's tons of employees today. It is grand opening. Grand opening day. So, um, we got all kinds of condiments. All right, we can skip the meat section. We'll just walk around this frozen section here. Um, yeah. So through the whole store, they have these set up where you can ask Alexa, of course, because it's owned by Amazon. So I can literally talk to Alexa and ask her where an item is. And in the store, she'll tell me. So Alexa, what's on sale? Here are the top deals. 
So she literally just showed me everything on sale in the store today, which is pretty awesome. So um, these are throughout the store. So that's, that's a new feature that they added. We can, yeah, because might as well get at least one. So we'll get these. I think you have to go slow. It has to catch it. it. Yeah, that, it right? has to see the barcode. I think the he wants the big he one. I know, but he. I think he wants think these. One ten. I think he wants these. Okay, this is what he's it, used get to. It. Just get it. It's fine. Yeah, the barcode, yeah. Okay, so, so far our running total is 951. <laughs> so, uh, we're good on that. Who else loves Tahin? So, I like to explain the store as if Whole Foods and... Uh, regular local grocery store had a baby. Now, for any of you that know me, I have a store near me. I live around here and I have a store near me called Wegmans and I've always described that as the same, but technically this store actually carries Whole Foods products. So I'm gonna show you right here. So for instance, if any of you shop at Whole Foods, you're familiar with their brand 365, right? So 365, they carry some of their products throughout the store because Amazon owns Whole Foods. So that's why this is literally Whole Foods and your local grocery store if they had a baby. So um, they also carry what's called Happy Belly, which you may never have heard of before, but that's Amazon's brand. So anytime you see Happy Belly in the store, it's gonna be the Amazon brand. Um, so they're gonna obviously be competitive right there with the 365 and right there with the Happy Belly items. So we got all the soups and the ramen here. Um, we got the pastas. Uh, and the sauce, tuna. I'm gonna turn around because we don't need to be in this aisle. You can also have the employees shop for you and if you have a Prime account and live nearby, they can deliver or you can do a pickup and on the side of the building. They have a place you can drive up and pick up your order, which is pretty awesome, so. Okay, and like most of the stores, they offer wine and beer. Um, if you're from another store, like I think I saw on YouTube, the California stores offer liquor. I've never seen a grocery store carry hard liquor before, but that's pretty awesome. So you would just um, scan an item. So let's say we were gonna get, my best friend will love me for this, but let's say we were gonna get Blue Moon, right? You would just scan it and put it in the cart. And it's gonna tell you that it can't be purchased on this cart. Please remove the alcohol lane. Okay, so when I take this out of the cart, it knows I took it out of the cart. So see how it took it off the screen? So smart, this cart. Should be called a smart cart not a dash lane cart this section kind of reminds me of a whole foods with like the milks and stuff totally so um look at all the plant-based options for anyone that's afraid to go vegan or put cream in your coffee this is where it's at um we have yogurt here um we got your ziploc all the traditional stuff you would normally see um let's go over here so every Amazon Fresh is gonna have the best of Amazon. So their top hot products that are on the market right now are all gonna be here. Um, so we got books, we got uh, mortar and pestle, make your guacamole or your mafungo, ayo. Uh, we got fire sticks. Um, we got all kinds of stuff here. We got Instant Pots, blenders, Cuisinarts. So that's pretty cool that they feature and showcase those. And of course, they're gonna showcase all their Kindles, all their um, Fire tablets, all their actual Amazon Echo products and Alexas. So that's pretty awesome that they feature and advertise those in the store. They are available to purchase. Uh, see the digital uh, barcodes here, which is pretty awesome. You can also return and pick up your Amazon shipments. How cool is that? So if you don't want something delivered to you and you wanna pick it up, you can come here and do that. They have the lockers. They have it all set up and ready to go for you all. 
So this is traditional, like at Whole Foods, they have a salad bar, which is pretty cool. Because most grocery stores these days don't have a nice salad bar for you to choose from. Um, and then uh, they also have here the plant-based section. So we'll check that out in a second. But they also have all the prepared foods. Typically when you go into a Whole Foods, you have the soup counter, you have the sandwich counter, the deli counter, the pizza, the bakery, and then usually they have sushi in here somewhere too, which I, oh, I see it right there, modern Japanese. So that's traditional to a Whole Foods for sure. But, um, you know, and all these prepared sandwiches and drinks to go. So that's neat and familiar to see. So let's check out what we actually have here that's plant-based. We got the tofus, the tempehs, we got some cheeses. So they definitely have a good variety here of the 365 brand and also some of the other more familiar brands. That's cool to see as well. All right, we saved the best for last, all the frozen stuff like ice cream, but we're gonna look to see first. Um, do they have my pizza? They do not have my pizza. So the only place I can find the pizza that I really like is the Dea, but it's like the garden vegetable edition and Sprouts is the only one that seems to carry it at the moment. So we got plant-based, but it's not gluten-free. Remember guys, I'm gonna make a video. It's super hard to find gluten-free and plant-based and actually have it taste good. But we do have all the pizzas here, but let's see if they have my ice cream. That's really what I'm always hankering for from Whole Foods. And Whole Foods for me is about a 30 minute drive. It's, it's only eight miles, but just to go for some ice cream isn't always the most convenient and sometimes they're out of it. So the fact that they actually have the ice cream brands here, it's pretty exciting, but I don't really see it. You see where the plant, where's the plant-based stuff? Do you see any? Right here? Here. Oh, over here. Yeah, so they have they have berry and they have vanilla bean, but I don't see cookie dough, unfortunately. But that's too bad, but you can't have everything in the store. They wouldn't have enough space. So uh, I guess we still got to go to Whole Foods for the ice cream. All right, so let's see if there's any frozen meals that we want to get. These are pretty easy to find in most stores now. Um, you know, there's not too many unique things here um, that you can't find in your regular grocery store, but it's just the experience, I guess, and also the fact that there are going to be some of those unique, niche Whole Foods type brand items that you may just be partial to. Um, you know, and there might be some other finds, like I've never seen what this brand is before, but it's obviously not plant-based and it's not gluten-free, but it's just interesting to see other products that are coming out and to see what they're all about. Alexa, where do I find gluten-free bread? Find gluten-free bread at aisle two. Aisle two. So the only gluten-free bread they have is Canyon Bakehouse, which if you've watched any of my other videos, is gluten-free, but it's not vegan. Unfortunately, they put egg. Canyon Bakehouse, if you're listening, please stop putting egg in your bread. It's very easy to make gluten-free bread without egg. Um, but for some reason in this entire bread aisle, <laughs> That's the only gluten-free option. Um, Whole Foods usually carries a bunch more and they also carry one in the frozen section that's actually low carb called Carbonot. It comes in regular or gluten-free and even Sprouts carries it. So I have to say it's kind of disappointing to know that that's the only option when I come into this store because gluten-free bread is something that I've lived off of for the last 12 years. So a little disappointing, but I'm hoping the inventory will change and grow and develop as this store flourishes. That's all I can really ask for and hope for. Maybe they take suggestions or they'll let me request items. So we'll see. All right, guys, it's time to pay. So we didn't get much today. I did a lot of grocery shopping the other day. Should have waited, but that's okay. We'll come back. So we got $18. Where's my coupon? We have to spend a little more, I think, Mom. So we got a coupon in the mail. You gotta spend 20 to get 10 off. And because I already did my grocery shopping, we're a little short. So we're gonna grab a couple fun little snacks, like some of these. I've actually had this brand before in Florida. It's really good and they're vegan and gluten-free. So we're gonna grab those. Oops. All right, so now we're over the $20 mark, but we're also gonna get some tortillas as well. If you don't know, All right, so we're gonna get some tortillas. Let's see what we got. I like to call this the section 
of milk because everything here has milk. So disappointing. These work for salsa? Yeah. Well, these are the other ones you like too. Yeah, it's just too thin. No, those. Because I like those better. And I mean. Cool. All right. So now we're definitely over our $20 threshold and we are good to go. So we're gonna follow this Amazon Dash thing. Yeah, I don't know how, coupons here. Scan your coupon. So I don't know if it'll let me do it. There you go. So it took 10 off, so now our total is only $14. So here we go. Uh, checking out, yeah. Do you have any coupons you need to apply? Just did. Just did it. Yeah. Right. So you guys are good cool. to go. Walk all the way to the right. cool. Thank you. Uh, hold on to that. See the bags. So you guys are good. Right. Park here. We'll clean it up for the next couple. Have a okay. great day. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay. How sad is why your name is very sad. So. This is about. Always work. Hi, would you like a Aha uh -huh, sparkling water? We have blueberry, pomegranate on this side, and on this side I have watermelon lime. I'll try the watermelon lime. Cool. Thank you very much. You oh, the, the whole can. Thing? Cool. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Do I get one too, or no? We don't. If you one want, you, like one? you can. If you want one, take one. And then next up, we'll be picking up a koozie, which you can use. Oh right yeah, there perfect. And we have a cool. photo op as well. Photo op. Hey, how's it going? There I'll take a go. cozy. Cool, thank you. Is that cool? Where am I standing for? Cool. Cool. So you can choose a background you want it. Oh, that's cool. I guess this this one's kind of cool. And then if you just put your name in the first thing oh, in email, we can. That's awesome. That's fun. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. It'll print out for you too. Oh, cool. I got a print out too. Oh, cool. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up this video. My overall impression, to be honest with you, the area I live in, I'm spoiled. I have a Wegmans. I do have the Whole Foods about 30 minutes away. I know a lot of people don't have Wegmans, so maybe this is a great solution for them, especially if they don't have Whole Foods close by. But to be honest with you, I, I don't know that I would see myself shopping here again. The experience was great on the cart. Uh, Wegmans does have something very similar where you scan each item on your phone with a barcode. Um, but yeah, the cart thing was pretty neat. Uh, that was definitely cool to do. Um, maybe I could run in to grab like just some regular items, do some regular grocery shopping because we do some of that at like our regular giant. But overall the gluten-free selections i don't know i just find the options are better at whole foods so i really hope the amazon fresh steps up their game with their inventory i appreciate you guys coming along please don't forget to comment like subscribe and as always stay driven